Ghostly Encounters in Historic Whitby. Welcome to Whitby, a picturesque coastal town steeped in history and shrouded in mystery. As the mist rolls in from the North Sea, tales of ghostly encounters echo through its cobbled streets and ancient buildings. Join us as we explore the haunted past of Whitby and uncover chilling tales of the supernatural. The Wailing Woman of St Mary's Churchyard Nestled amidst the serene beauty of St Mary's Churchyard lies a tale as old as time, whispered through the ages by those who dare to wander its hallowed grounds. Legend has it that on moonlit nights, a mournful wail can be heard echoing among the tombstones, a haunting lament that chills the soul of any who hear it. According to local folklore, the origin of this spectral presence traces back to a young woman who lived centuries ago in the quaint village of Whitby. She was said to be the daughter of a wealthy merchant, her beauty rivaling that of the fairest flowers in bloom. Yet, beneath her graceful facade, lay a heart burdened by sorrow. The tale goes that the young woman fell deeply in love with a dashing sailor who frequented the port of Whitby. Their love was forbidden, for he belonged to the sea, destined to sail the world's vast expanse while she remained bound to the land. Despite the odds, their passion burned brightly until tragedy struck with the fury of a tempest-tossed wave. One fateful night, as the sailor's ship battled against the raging sea, it succumbed to the merciless onslaught of a violent storm. Desperate cries for help were swallowed by the tumultuous waves, leaving behind only the wreckage of shattered dreams. Heartbroken and bereft, the young woman waited in vain for her beloved's return, her grief so profound that it transcended the boundaries of life and death. And so, it is said that her spirit now roams the churchyard, her ethereal form drifting among the tombstones in search of her lost love. With each passing night, her mournful wail pierces the stillness of the air, a haunting reminder of love's enduring power and the depths of human despair. While some dismiss her as a mere figment of imagination, Others swear by the authenticity of her presence, recounting chilling encounters with the wailing woman that defy rational explanation. Whether she is a restless soul bound by tragedy or a manifestation of collective grief, the legend of the wailing woman continues to cast its spell over those who tread the ancient paths of St Mary's churchyard. The Phantom Prowler of the Old Town Within the labyrinthine alleyways and shadowed corners of Whitby's old town, whispers abound of a spectral presence that haunts the cobblestone streets under the cloak of night. Known only as the Phantom Prowler, this mysterious apparition is said to be a harbinger of darkness, prowling the ancient thoroughfares with an air of malevolent intent. Descriptions of the Phantom Prowler vary, but all who have encountered this enigmatic figure speak of its unsettling presence. Tall and cloaked in darkness, it moves with an eerie grace, its footsteps echoing softly against the worn stones of the alleyways. Some claim to have glimpsed its piercing eyes gleaming from beneath the depths of its hood, while others speak of a chilling aura that chills the very marrow of their bones. Legends surrounding the Phantom Prowler are as numerous as the cobwebs that cling to the time-worn buildings of the old town. Some say it is the restless spirit of a highwayman, condemned to wander the streets in search of ill-gotten gains. Others believe it to be the ghost of a long-dead smuggler, forever bound to the town by a hidden cache of contraband. Yet, regardless of its origins, one thing remains certain. The phantom prowler strikes fear into the hearts of all who cross its path. Tales abound of unsuspecting travellers who find themselves pursued through the narrow alleyways by the ghostly figure, 
their cries for help swallowed by the oppressive silence of the night. Despite numerous attempts to unravel the mystery of the phantom prowler, its true nature eludes even the most intrepid of investigators. Some believe it to be a trick of the imagination, a product of the mind's tendency to conjure phantoms in the darkness. Others insist that it is a very real presence, a spectral guardian of the old town's secrets. Whatever the truth may be, one thing is certain. The phantom prowler remains an enduring enigma, its presence serving as a reminder of the mysteries that lie hidden within the ancient streets of Whitby's old town. The Cursed Captain Cook Memorial Amidst the quaint charm of Whitby's coastal landscape stands the solemn tribute to one of history's greatest navigators, the Captain Cook Memorial. Erected in honour of the renowned explorer, Captain James Cook, this monument stands as a testament to his contributions to maritime exploration. However, beneath its weathered stone facade lies a darker tale, one whispered only in hushed tones by those wary of invoking the wrath of vengeful spirits. Local lore tells of a curse that has long been associated with the Captain Cook Memorial, a curse that casts a shadow over all who dare to disturb its ancient slumber. According to legend, the curse originated from an act of sacrilege committed by a group of mischievous youths who, in their heedless folly, defile the sanctity of the monument. It is said that on a moonless night, under the cloak of darkness, these reckless individuals sought to test the boundaries of superstition by desecrating the Captain Cook Memorial. Ignoring the warnings of those who knew of the curse, they mockingly defaced the monument, laughing in the face of the spirits they believed to be nothing more than figments of imagination. Yet, as the first rays of dawn illuminated the horizon, a sense of unease began to settle over the town of Whitby. Strange occurrences plagued the miscreants who had dared to disturb the peace of the memorial. Some spoke of unsettling dreams haunted by shadowy figures, while others claimed to have witnessed inexplicable phenomena that defied rational explanation. As days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, the curse of the Captain Cook Memorial continued to exact its toll upon those who had incurred its wrath. Misfortune befell the perpetrators, their lives unravelling like the frayed threads of a tapestry torn asunder. Some succumbed to illness, while others fell victim to accidents of unfathomable coincidence. In the wake of these events, the people of Whitby whispered in fearful tones of the curse that had befallen the Captain Cook Memorial. Some believed it to be the restless spirit of the explorer himself, angered by the disrespect shown to his memory. Others speculated that it was the work of ancient forces, invoked by the desecration of a sacred site. Despite efforts to lift the curse, the spectre of misfortune continues to linger around the Captain Cook Memorial, serving as a cautionary tale to all who would dare to disturb the slumber of the spirits that dwell within its shadowed confines. The Dracula Connection Whitby's allure as a haven for tales of the supernatural extends far beyond its mist-shrouded cliffs and ancient streets. It is also indelibly linked to one of literature's most iconic figures, Count Dracula. Bram Stoker, the author of the immortal vampire novel, drew inspiration from Whitby's haunting landscapes and eerie atmosphere, weaving them into the fabric of his chilling tale. In the late 19th century, Bram Stoker made his first visit to Whitby, drawn by its reputation as a picturesque seaside retreat. Little did he know that his sojourn in this quaint coastal town would serve as the genesis for one of the most enduring works of Gothic fiction ever penned. It was here, amidst the crumbling ruins of Whitby Abbey, 
that Stoker found inspiration for the foreboding castle of Count Dracula. Perched atop the windswept cliffs, the abbey's imposing silhouette cast a long shadow over the landscape, its crumbling walls and weathered spires evoking a sense of ancient mystery and dark allure. But it was not just the abbey's imposing presence that captured Stoker's imagination. Whitby's rich tapestry of history and folklore provided fertile ground for the seeds of his macabre vision to take root. Tales of shipwrecks, smuggling, and ancient legends of the supernatural wove themselves into the fabric of his narrative, lending it an air of authenticity that continues to captivate readers to this day. One of the most iconic scenes in Stoker's novel takes place on the windswept cliffs overlooking Whitby Harbour, where the ship carrying Count Dracula makes its dramatic entrance into English waters. The image of the vampire Count standing silhouetted against the backdrop of the abbey ruins, his eyes gleaming with malevolent intent, has become synonymous with the gothic horror genre. Yet, Whitby's connection to Dracula goes beyond mere inspiration. The town's rich maritime history and association with seafaring lore play a pivotal role in the novel's plot. It is here that the Demeter, the ship carrying Count Dracula, runs aground, unleashing its cargo of terror upon the unsuspecting residents of Whitby. Today, Whitby embraces its status as a pilgrimage site for fans of Dracula and Gothic literature. Visitors flock to the town to explore its historic streets, visit the iconic Abbey ruins, and retrace the footsteps of Bram Stoker himself. Whitby even hosts an annual Gothic festival, celebrating all things macabre and mysterious. So, as you wander the cobbled streets of Whitby, Take a moment to reflect on the town's dark and storied past. For amidst its mist-shrouded cliffs and ancient ruins lies a connection to one of literature's most enduring legends, the immortal tale of Count Dracula. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, comment and share. Come back often for more ghostly, paranormal tales. Some are based on real sightings and some are just short stories. Either way, I hope you enjoy. Don't have nightmares.